So, today I'm going to make some boric acid from hydrochloric acid and borax. Uh, and uh, to produce 20 grams of the boric oxide, you will need uh, 30 grams of uh, borax. So, I will measure that out. Scale. Okay, that's a little bit too much. Okay, yes, a little bit of an excess, but that's not a problem. And next thing, you will need hydrochloric acid, so I will going to measure that in the graduated cylinder. And you will need uh, 16 milliliters of uh, concentrated 30% hydrochloric acid. Still need a little bit of an access here, especially I do because my hydrochloric acid is very impure. As you can see, the, the it has a yellow color, which well that shouldn't happen, but it's technical gray hydrochloric acid. So if you have pure hydrochloric acid, definitely use that. But that will also work. So 15 milliliters. Okay, that's okay. Okay, so I'm diluting it with distilled water. So, what you need to do now is to dissolve the borax into water and uh, you probably don't want to do it in cold water because it's not very soluble. So I'm just going to heat it up. But so the water is starting to heat up now and I'm going to put the borax, also known as sodium tetraborate. Okay, starting to boil, so I'm going to turn it down because that's, that's a little bit of too much heat. So as you can see now it's the borax is all dissolved. It's quite a cloudy solution. Okay, so that's all the hydrochloric acid. So you can see the solution now. It's pretty clear. And now we're going to boil down the solution just a little bit, you know, a few hundred milliliters. No, maybe less. I don't know. Just boil it down, and then you will going to cool this. And uh, because of the boric acid not being super soluble and cold water. Then it's going to drop out as crystals and then we are going to decant off the water and dry our boric acid. 
So this is all the boric acid that had participated out from the solution when I cooled it.